Hello friends, how are you doing? 2019 is about to get over but thousands of people are still waiting to get the ITA due to the extremely high CRS cutoff score in the last few months. So in this video, we will discuss who can beat the CRS cutoff score in 2020. I did a research or rather an analysis based on different age factors, educational qualifications, IELTS scores and other factors then the results were quite shocking. I will discuss the results and the analysis with you guys in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos with you guys. So if you're interested, please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, before we discuss the analysis, let us have a quick look on the CRS cutoff score in 2019. So this is the screenshot from uh, CICnews.com and here you can see the pattern and the CRS scores in 2019. So you can see that since September in the last four months the CRS cutoff score has not gone down below 460. So this is something which would concern many people. In the end of 2018 the CRS cutoff score was around 440s in the first half it went up to 450s now it is 460s or even 470s so you can say that in a way now 460s is the new 450s or the new 440s and i'm talking about 460s but actually the crs cutoff score in the last couple of months has revolved around 470s which is quite difficult for many people to achieve so we will discuss it in this video so i did an analysis and i'm going to discuss it with you so first of all, I did the analysis for the people in the age group 20 to 29 because they are awarded the same number of points for this age group. Now there are different factors for which points are awarded like uh, marital status, educational, Canadian education, Canadian work experience, international work experience, IELTS score, your TEF score, a job offer, PNP nomination, sibling in Canada, spouse education, spouse IELTS, etc. So the very first example that I took from there was uh, for a single person who had a bachelor's degree, no Canadian work experience or education uh, with an international work experience of three years or more, IELTS CLB 9 and no TEF, no job offer, PNP, no sibling in Canada and of course no uh, spouse because of his marital status. So here you can see the CRS cutoff score was 429 points. Now if you go two and a half years back in time in mid 2017s, then the CRS cutoff score was actually pretty low and anyone with this criteria would have got the ITA pretty easily. But that's not the case now. Even if we increase the IELTS from CLB 9 to CLB 10, even then the ITA, the federal ITA would be a distant dream because the CRS points would still be just 441. Okay, talking about a married person. So if you are married and if you have a bachelor's degree, and even if your spouse gets the CLB 10 and you have the bachelor's degree, even in that case, the CRS cutoff score would be 443. Now, let's say that with all the same factors, if we add the sibling points, even then, the score would be 458. Now, having said that, it seems that anyone with the educational level as bachelor's degree or diploma would won't be able to clear the cutoff score in the upcoming months even if you have a sibling in Canada and you get the maximum IELTS score of CLB 10 and your spouse also gets the maximum CRS score even then you would not be able to touch the CRS uh, cutoff score in the upcoming months if it stays above 460. So all of those people who have got a bachelor's degree or diploma please make sure you go for an alternative system which is the PNP system and that is the best bet for you if you want to immigrate to Canada. Okay now talking about those people with uh, two degrees or diplomas in that case if you score actually CLB 9 then you get a bit closer which is 462 but still it would be a distant dream because the current CRS cutoff score is revolving around 470. Yes, if you have two degrees and diploma and you score CLB 10 in IELTS, then you can beat down that cutoff score because you would score 496. And similarly, if you have a master's degree, you would be able to beat down that CRS cutoff score of 469, which was actually the last cutoff score. And with the CLB 9 score, you would get this 469 score. However, if you have a PhD degree and you're single, in that case, 
you would actually score 484, which would be higher than the CRS cutoff score in the next upcoming months. I'm pretty sure of that as well. Okay, now this was just a few examples from the age group 20 to 29. Obviously, there can be multiple permutations and combinations. I cannot count them all because they would be infinite. Uh, but I tried to do some of the digging for uh, this age group. Okay, now moving on with the analysis, talking about a person whose age is, let's say, 32. Now, you must be aware that the with the increasing age, your points also get deducted. So if you if you have the age of 30, you would get five points will be deducted. If you have 31 uh, age, then 10 points. Then for age 32, 15 points will actually be deducted from a person whose age is 29 or 28. Okay, so the same criteria as I mentioned over here. Let's say that the person is married because I suppose it's most of the people in this age group would be married. Let's say 30, 32, 34. So if you have a bachelor's degree, the same scenario. If your spouse even gets CLB 10, you won't be able to, you know, even be closer to the CRS cutoff score because your score will be 428. Uh, if you're married, if you have two degrees of diploma, you would still be closer when in the best case scenario, you and your spouse both scores CLB 10. So in that case, you'd be able to score 460, which would be closer, but still not good enough uh, to get the ITA in the next uh, upcoming weeks or at least a couple of months. Now talking of uh, a married person who's got a master's degree, who scores CLB 9, maybe the spouse has got a bachelor's degree and she also scores uh, CLB 9. So in that case, you would score 455, a distant dream again. So even with the master's degree, if you're married and you score CLB 9, it would be very difficult for you to get the ITA. Talking of a person who's got a master's degree, uh, three years plus experience, CLB 9, and uh, the has got a sibling in Canada, so of course five, 15 points will be added. So in that case, you would definitely get the ITA in the upcoming draws. Uh, talking of a person who's got a master's degree and you score CLB 10 and even your Spouse scores CLB10, but you don't have a sibling in Canada. In that case, uh, you would get 467, which is quite close. I would hope that the CRS score would at least drop down to 465s or uh, the 467s in the upcoming draws. So there's a ray of hope if you score CLB10 with the master's degree and also your spouse scores CLB10. Talking of a married person of the same age and have holding a PhD degree, in that case, uh, if you score CLB9 in IELTS, and even if your spouse scores the same, then obviously you would clear the CRS cutoff score very easily because your score will be 484. But here if we reduce the spouse score for IELTS, let's say CLB6, then your score would drastically go down. It would be 468. So all the people assuming that uh, your spouse IELTS score does not matter much, here is an example that it does matter. Okay, so this was for age 32. For all the people above this age group, the CRS score would even go down Every year, five points will be reduced, so it would even be difficult for you to clear the cutoff score. So I would suggest if that is the case, do not keep waiting for the ITA or uh, do not keep waiting for the CRS cutoff score to go down. But instead, go for the other options like uh, the PNP options or maybe some other options of immigrating to Canada. So guys, this analysis was very shocking for me as well because I immigrated to Canada in 2017. While my IELTS score was uh, CLB 9 and I had just one bachelor's degree, I was single at that point of time. So at that point of time, my CRS score was 432, but I was easily able to clear the cutoff because the CRS cutoff score was very low at that point of time. But now it has changed a lot. The scenarios have changed a lot. If you have got a bachelor's degree and if, even if your spouse has got a bachelor's degree, you won't be able to clear the CRS cutoff score, at least in the upcoming few months, that is for sure. So I would suggest you go on to apply for different PNP options. Don't waste your time waiting for the CRS cutoff score to drop. So thank you guys for watching this video. That was all I wanted to convey through this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. And yes, please mark down your comments. What do you think of this analysis? And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.